Joan Jeffries as Marion Kirby, the ghostess with the mostess. Robert Sterling as George Kirby, that most sportive spirit. And Leo G. Carroll, host to said ghosts as... Topper. Come on, Topper, we're going to the ball game. George, leave that alone. Well, what do you think all this is? Well, what do you think a wastebasket is for? Uh, it's out of the question today. You you go without me. Well, Topper, we're all going. Even Neil, he's a water boy. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to bring fun into your life. Fine. Then you leave me alone and I'll be as happy as a chipmunk. But Topper, you've got to go. No, no. No, Marion, George, let go. Let go. Let go. Remarkable. Simply remarkable. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, let him have it, George. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> uh, just uh, batting out some work. Topper, this is Mr. Hopak. He might become a very important depositor. Uh, how do you do? May we talk? Why, of course, of course. Uh, uh, Topper, uh, would you mind? Uh, not at all. And don't go to the ball game. Uh, you have work to do. Uh, oh, certainly. <laughs> uh, opening day. A little peculiar, but uh, a hard worker. Uh, we should like to hire him for one night. Uh, tonight. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he may be quite late on these papers, and it's imperative that they be finished by uh, tomorrow. What are the total assets of your bank? Uh, about four million. How would you like to have them doubled? Uh, doubled? Well, uh, uh, nothing here that can't wait. Good. I will bring in my principal. We shall make the proper arrangements. Thank you. Your Majesty, our search is over. We have found him. He looks like me. He is a perfect likeness. Perfect. You're certain, Hopak. Enough to be your twin, sire. And he is available to us? I have touched upon his uh, master's Achilles heel, money. He is available. Good. I'll meet him. Uh, I... Well, where do you think you're going? Nowhere at the moment. Nowhere, eh? Is that why you have your coat and hat on, I suppose? You're sneaking off to the ball game. That's where you're going. I think that might be a very good idea. Oh, it might, but it... Well, let me tell you something. You're going to sit right here at this desk until every one of these papers are cleared off. Nothing easier. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Have you completely lost the last vestige of mind you once possessed? Who are you talking to? <laughs> to this incompetent catastrophe masquerading as a man, that's who. You fool. You are speaking to King Rupert the 13th of Barcovia. It's not Topper. Who is this one? Uh, don't tell him. This, Your Highness, is Skylar, the employer of Topper. You understand it was a natural mistake, Your Majesty? There is a very strong resemblance, although Your Majesty is much better looking. Uh, enough, enough. I'm satisfied with the resemblance. Uh, you don't want to see Topper? I think... It might be better not to. Uh, tell him nothing. That will be best. Hmm. You forgive me for asking, Your Majesty, but is there some uh, danger involved? There is some slight danger. Slight. The usurper to the Borokovian throne has followed the king and queen to this country. We have information he may strike tonight, May. There is some slim chance, but we wish to take every precaution. And, um... You want uh, Topper to spend the night in the royal suite as the king? Yes. Have him at the Carlton Towers, suite B, promptly at six. No. I'm sorry, but Topper means more to me than money. I'm looking for a bank to handle the entire American assets of my country. Thirty million dollars. His widow will never want. <laughs> I have him there this evening. The risk will be slight. 
I told him nothing. Yes, of course, Your Majesty. Oh, Your Highness forget something? Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, I'll pick those things up. No, 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 not at all. I, allow me. Uh, it's a privilege. Now, uh, how can I be of service? Well, by handing me those papers, Mr. Scarlet, so that I can get on with my work. Oh, well, you're... you're topper. Why, of course. Who did you think I was? Uh, were you, uh... <clears throat> were you planning on uh, working on these things at home tonight? Well, uh, I was, yes. Well, aren't there quite a few uh, distractions around your house? Uh, Unfortunately, yes. That's why I've arranged for an hotel suite where you can work. It'll be quiet and uh, you won't be disturbed. Oh, thank you, Mr. Scarlet. Uh, not at all. Uh, not sweet B, Carlton Towers. Shall I need all that room? And I, I hope not. Goodbye. Good luck, Dubber. Good luck, old man. It's time, Hopak. Be ready, sire. His Majesty remembers. Mrs. Topper's name is Henrietta. A close friend is Elsie. The button that opens the bar is on the west side of the living room, waist high. Yes, I know, I know. Uh, the Queen, uh, is she awake? I think not, Majesty. Your Highness still intends to tell her nothing? I think it better so. Are you going out, Rupert? Uh, just a few moments, my love. I shall return at six. You have your long underwear, Cosmo? Henrietta, dear, I'm only staying the night to work. Of course, dear. You couldn't work here. Well, it'll be quieter at the hotel. I see. Those little friends of yours? The ghosts? Uh, oh, uh, yes. Well, won't they just go with you? Well, they won't know where I am. You see, they've gone for a ball game. Really, Cosmo? Why would ghosts go to a ball game? Hmm? Well, uh, they, they get in for nothing. Uh, goodbye, dear. <laughs> Carlton Towers, please. Get something, dear? I changed my mind, Henrietta. I'm glad, Cosmo. Did, uh, did Elsie call? She called yesterday, dear. Oh, good, good. And how is my little pigeon? No. And shall we spend a pleasant evening together? Of hmm? course, dear. But what about the ghosts? What ghosts? <laughs> the ones you were going to the hotel to get away from, remember? Oh. Uh, are they here now? You said they went to a baseball game. Oh. They should be back any minute. the strangest thing. We've been married 20 years, and I never knew you wore a monocle. I should go and unpack. I'll do it for you, dear. And draw your bath. Go back, you bungler. Ghosts. <laughs> This is Cosmo Topper, Sweet B. I should like to have a public stenographer sent up. Sweet B, Cosmo Topper. I say I should like to have the services of a public stenographer for several hours. 
Ah, oh, Toffee, you should have been with us. What a game. Neil put whiskey in the water cooler, and George threw dust in the umpire's eyes. Yeah, it was a tight game in the fifth inning, then the fans burned down the ballpark. I haven't had so much fun in years. What's the matter, Topper? No sense of humor? Oh, he's ignoring us, George. Well, not for long. Go sit in his lap, Neil. Go on. <laughs> Don't you want to play, Topper? What's the matter with him? He acts like he's never seen a ghost. This is Topper. I, I mean, dear. Help! Overwork. He's finally cracked. Why, Cosmo, what's the matter? Why, things are going wrong. This ball, why is it chasing me? I guess it wants your autograph. What? <laughs> hey, Marion, it must be his amnesia again. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And there's only one way to bring him out of it. Remember? <laughs> oh, George, not too hard. <laughs> Papa, stop. It's for your own good. Cosmo, did you hurt yourself? Members of the court, greetings. Court? Oh, poor Cosmo. He thinks he's been arrested. <laughs> Cosmo Topper, sweet B. Yes. I've been waiting 30 minutes for that public stenographer. Thank you very much. Were you calling someone, Rupert? <laughs> oh, come in, come in. Glad they found you. Just, uh... Sit down there and take out your pad. Uh, with regard to the proposed merger between Atlas Steel and Armstrong Pipe, having uh, examined the financial position of both companies, it is my finding that further stock in the merged companies can only be issued on the following basis. Have you got that? Got what, darling? <laughs> With regard to the uh, proposed merger between Atlas Steel and Armstrong Pipe. Yes, darling? Oh, you're not taking anything down. Is it necessary? Unless you have an exceptional memory. Lucky for you, I don't. Naughty boy. Well, uh, shall we get down to business? Of course. Perhaps we'd better not. <laughs> call room service again. Why? I must have had a bad connection, I think. <laughs> Did you come from in there? Naturally, darling. You mean you come with the suite? But of course I do. Mr. Schuyler should have told me. You act so strangely. Is something wrong? Sir, uh, I think I'd better go. You're leaving? Uh, uh, nothing personal. And uh, thank you very much. No. This time you do not run away. You're spoiled and selfish, but I'm only flesh and blood. This time I'll not stand for it. Your place is here. Here? Your place is here, Rupert. Rupert? Are you feeling better, Cosmo? Shall I send for Dr. Gifford? Gifford? Who's Gifford? Send for my palace physician. Don't excite yourself. 
You've changed somehow. Uh, Kinder. Not the old Rupert, Rupert the Cruel. Well, You're uh, the man I once loved, but I could love again. Uh, I do my best. <laughs> Rupert, anything? Uh, yes. My fountain pen. <laughs> I think it's broken. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Skyler, dear. He came as I was about to call the doctor. Oh. He's just not himself at all, Mr. Skyler. Mm, it's no wonder. What do you mean? Uh, Mrs. Topper, I've done something that my conscience won't let me go through with. Your husband may be in considerable danger. But it's just his head, Mr. Skyler. Uh, Mrs. Topper, <coughs> this man is not your husband. He certainly is. We have our marriage license upstairs in the bedroom. You don't understand. Didn't you notice anything peculiar about this man's behavior? Of course. How else could I be sure it's Cosmo? <laughs> right now, your husband is in Sweet B at the Carlton Towers Hotel. And thanks to me, he's in danger of being assassinated as the king of Borokovia. Really? Yeah. I wonder how he does it. I wonder myself. Don't you see what he's saying, George? That isn't Topper at all. An imposter? Come on, we've got to say Topper. Right with you. I'll bring my ball back, Marion. <laughs> what is the matter, Rupert? Oh, well, this sofa is so crowded. <laughs> I suggest you're gay. It's like our honeymoon in Cannes, remember? Honeymoon in Cannes? That must have been very crowded, too. <laughs> Papa, we've come to save you. George, look at him. What are you doing here? Well, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here because I love you. I came here to work. You're being cruel again, Rupert. Rupert? Oh, what a dog. Just mind your own business. <laughs> Don't treat me this way, Rupert, I beg of you. And to think we came to save your life, Topper. Yeah, but what a way to go. <laughs> Wait. Stay here. To the death, Rupert. Ah. Ah. What was that? Uh... Uh, house detective. Uh, I think I'd better go. Ah, you jest again. That is the old Rupert. Rupert. Oh, an interesting place you have here. Oh, it's a pigsty. Don't be cold, Rupert. Oh, very nice chest. It's very dull, really. It's filled with nothing but money. You know that, Rupert. Oh, really? Why, these are hundred dollar bills. Who cares? Well, there must be thousands of them. Well, this chest must hold a million dollars. Thirty million, Mr. Topper. Oh, how do you do? What do you want, Hopak? Why do you come into the king's presence unbidden? And why do you call him Topper? I shall explain, Your Majesty. You see, this chest contains the entire treasury of Borokovia, a small country. <clears throat> You're investing it in this country? In a sense, yes. You see, the people of Borokovia do not know that the treasury has departed with their king. Should they find out, we assume that the people will be in anger. Yes, I can see that. But should their king die through violence and the money vanish, then the people will have no one on whom to vent their anger. Uh, well, I certainly hope nothing like that happens. What are you prating about, Hopak? Your Highness, this man, Cosmo Topper, is the exact double of King Rupert the Thirteenth. No one can tell them apart. What? Oh, really? Well, that's very flattering, I'm sure, but... What are you doing? King Rupert the Thirteenth, also known as Rupert the Cruel, is about to die under mysterious circumstances. Oh, come now. He's not even here. Isn't he? George! Marion! How that you can't do this? Quiet. It is Rupert's command. I have the key. The door is locked, Topper. 
You do not believe me. The key. Is it lucky we can come through keyholes? George, Marion, do something. Keep running, Toppy. <laughs> George. Here goes a home run. <laughs> this way, boy. The key. Papa, let us in. Oh, are you all right, Cosmo, dear? Perfectly, Henrietta. But who's this? He's your double topper, King Rupert of Boracavia. He doesn't resemble me in the slightest. <laughs> Room for one more, Topper. Alley oop. <laughs> Why did he do that, Cosmo? Uh, he's uh, flying home, dear. Here, Neil. <laughs> as Marion Kirby, the ghostess with the mostess. Robert Sterling as George Kirby, that most sportive spirit. And Leo G. Carroll, host to said ghosts as... Topper. Come on, Topper, we're going to the ball game. George, leave that alone. Well, what do you think all this is? What do you think a wastebasket is for? Uh, it's out of the question today. You you go without me. Well, Topper, we're all going. Even Neil, he's a water boy. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to bring fun into your life. Fine. Then you leave me alone and I'll be as happy as a chipmunk. But, Topper, you've got to go. No, no. No, Marion, George. Let go. Let go. Let go. Remarkable. Simply remarkable. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, let him have it, George. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> uh, just uh, batting out some work. Topper, this is Mr. Hopak. He might become a very important depositor. Uh, how do you do? May we talk? Why, of course, of course. Uh, uh, Topper, uh, would you mind? Uh, not at all. And don't go to the ball game. Uh, you have work to do. Uh, oh, certainly. <laughs> uh, opening day. A little peculiar, but uh, a hard worker. Uh, we should like to hire him for one night. Uh, tonight. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he may be quite late on these papers, and it's imperative that they be finished by uh, tomorrow. What are the total assets of your bank? Uh, about four million. How would you like to have them doubled? Uh, doubled? 